Today we will see certain misconceptions related to division of integers. Misconception 1. The teacher asked the children to find the quotient of 1800 divided by minus 60. Rakesh solved it first. His answer was 30. After some time, Amar replied minus 30. Can you tell me who is right? The quotient of integers with two different signs is negative. Therefore, the quotient of 1800 divided by minus 60 is minus 30. That is, Amar has given the right answer. Some children understand that in division of integers with two different signs, quotient is given the sign of the larger number. Therefore, they believe the quotient of 1800 divided by minus 60 to be positive integer 30. This is a misconception. That is, Rakesh has given the wrong answer. Some children ignore the minus sign of the denominator while dividing and believe the result to be positive. Due to these misconceptions, the answer of 1800 divided by minus 60 is given as positive integer 30, which is a wrong answer. Misconception 2 Suppose we represent profit as positive integer and loss as negative integer. Based on this, find out the answer to the following. Rajesh has 60 dozen bananas. By selling 40 dozen bananas, he makes a profit of rupees 240 and by selling the remaining 20 dozen bananas causes him a loss of rupees 300. What will be his earnings per dozen? Rajesh makes a profit of rupees 240 by selling 40 dozen bananas, which we represent by plus rupees 240. Similarly, on selling 20 dozen bananas, he suffers a loss of 300 rupees, which we will represent as minus rupees 300. In this way, the total earning of selling 60 dozen bananas will be is equal to rupees plus 240 plus minus 300, that is minus 60. Here the minus sign shows that Rajesh has incurred a loss of 60 rupees. Hence, his earnings per dozen will be is equal to total earnings divided by dozens of bananas sold is equal to rupees minus 60 divided by 60 is equal to rupees minus 1, which represents a loss of rupees 1 per dozen. In this way, Rajesh has incurred a loss of rupees 1 per dozen. Hence, the correct answer is option 1. Some children ignore the minus sign while dividing. This gives them the wrong answer, 1. Similarly, some children ignore what is being asked in the question. Here the question is, how much Rajesh earns per dozen? But while solving the question, children only calculate the total earnings, that is, rupees plus 240 plus minus 300 is equal to minus 60. To find out the earnings per dozen, they forget to divide the total earnings by the number of dozens of bananas and answer minus 60. This is also the wrong answer. To find out the correct answer, it is necessary to divide the total earnings by the number of dozens of bananas. This gives the correct answer minus 1. Now let's look at these rules. The rules for the division of integers are mentioned in a comprehensive way here. You can understand and study them by pausing the video. For all equations given here, we say b is not equal to 0. Can you tell me why? Think well. Let me explain. This is because the result of division cannot be obtained when b is equal to 0. Because division of any number by 0 is not defined, like plus 4 divided by 0 is equal to, we do not know. It cannot be explained what will happen. Thus, we cannot say for sure which sign will be used in the result. Similarly, if we have to find the result of minus 4 divided by 0, it cannot be achieved. Therefore, b is not equal to 0 is a condition in the given rules. Whenever we mention a rule, we have to mention all the restrictions imposed on it. Today in this video, we have seen certain misconceptions related to the division of integers.